Nestled just shy of the city center, Dallas Heritage Village takes visitors back in time to rediscover how amazing history can truly be. The 20-acre expanse of the village is home to the largest collection of 19th century pioneer buildings in Texas. The buildings themselves represent an array of homes and commercial structures procured from North Central Texas for preservation. Each building whisks visitors into the past by showcasing the building's historical function. Whether visitors hope to discover what a 19th century doctor's office looks like, or understand the workings of a farmstead in the 1800s, there is some revelation for just about everyone. Dallas Heritage Village receives partial funding from the City of Dallas Office of Cultural Affairs and the Texas Commission on the Arts, which in conjunction with ticket sales helps support the restoration projects and buildings maintenance. A member of the American Alliance of Museums and an institutional member of the Texas Association of Museums, Dallas Heritage Village is a must-see hotspot for many North Texas schools. Walking down the village's main thoroughfare, visitors may encounter one of the many educators dressed in vintage garb or partake in a carriage ride with a team of donkeys. The museum's history is as interesting as the buildings it cares for. The village sits on top of what was once Dallas's first park, which in 1876 was quaintly called City Park. Dallas's first spring-fed water supply, Browder Springs, runs directly under the village grounds. The neighborhood surrounding the original City Park was called the Cedars, an affluent neighborhood of merchants and businessmen. The cedars soon disappeared, and after the Second World War, only highways seemed to live downtown. In 1966, the planned destruction of a beautiful antebellum plantation home, the Millimore, banded a group of local women together forming the Dallas Heritage Society to save the building at all cost. The newly formed Dallas Heritage Society contacted Ray Hubbard, the then president of the park board, with the notion of rebuilding the Miller Moor in the once city park. Upon its opening in 1969, the museum was a monument to living Texas history, and it was called Old City Park. Over the years, the museum has expanded and brought life to buildings of all sorts, in 2005, the museum evolved to its current namesake, becoming a true reflection of the living, breathing museum it is today.